Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures and I'm doing a little bit of a follow-up to my Bohemian lot. Um, these uh, three pieces were in the lot and um, these are all gonna be going into craft. Unfortunately, it's missing one of these teardrops here. So the earrings are gonna go into craft. The necklace is $3, but, or I'll just, I'll do the necklace for three dollars and throw in the earrings in case you need a repair on the um, on the necklace ever in the future. But three dollars. I didn't do a measurement on this thing. These earrings are kind of strange because the way they hook up. I don't know what this this means when it has to do this. So it, it hooks on to this, sure. it hooks on to my brother's here with me. He's doing some testing. Um, he's all gloved up and we got windows open. And um, so anyway, this goes like this. I can't make it work, but anyway, so it wraps around like that. Like I can't visualize it, but Somebody wants these with this. The, this is kind of a small drop. It's like seven and a quarter inch drop. Maybe a little longer because there is an extender. So eight inch on this. So you have the necklace with these glass seed beads and metal beads. And then you have some donor earrings so those are gonna go back into the Bohemian lot. I did have to pull this from the lot. I did test it. It, it is sterling and it is very old. It's oh, got some sticky stuff on there. Um, it, uh, the pin is sticking way out like that. So this one I am pulling from sale. Just wanted to give you guys a follow up on it does have a little wheel that turns. This is a really cool little horse and buggy. Whoops, as I drop it. Um, and it does need a lot of cleaning back here. It's ugh, yuck. And anyway, yeah, it's like right there at the weld marks. So that's gonna need some cleaning. I did do some tarnish remover here. Not tarnish remover, but some simple shine. And I did buff it up a little bit and it, the tarnish is coming off. And yes, I did do a sterling test on it. Um, and I, I mean, I scratched everywhere multiple times and it turned out to be fine on all counts. All right, I have got a couple of lots here from the Shop Goodwill. This one came from Racine. Wisconsin, this lot ended up being, well, this is just the part of the lot. I don't know what, some of it was 30 bucks. Okay, well that piece of paper, okay. That piece of paper was for these items. I put a test on those. So I see things as I go. These are mushrooms. Oh, oh, sorry, they they they're mushrooms on the back, but on the front they're these really pretty ABs. And find the other earring. Yeah, here it is. My earrings, in general, are three dollars a pair. Uh, you can email me, jandapanda at comcast.net, and um, shipping starts at $4, and um, as things get heavier, of course, it goes up from there. Um, email me with your PayPal information, and as soon as I receive the funds, I ship out the next day, and or sooner, depends on when I get the you know, the alert from PayPal. Um, 
Most of my necklaces are three dollars unless they have a brand name. Uh, some of these um, and bracelets, uh, if they're if they're branded or depending on the quality, um, but for the most part they're three dollars. But there's some fun items here. This is a real pretty bracelet. This feels like acrylic and with rhinestones. And as you can see, as it gets into the bigger panels here, it uh, th there's more rhinestones. So this I would call a good quality bracelet. Um, what's going on here? There is a scratch. I would do this one for $3 of the scratch. The measurement on this pupster. Um, it's probably, I would call it a six and a half. This is a small one. I'm a seven and it doesn't go all the way around. So three dollars another little stretchy this is very lightweight um, if no one takes it for three dollars it's going into craft it is you know what I'm gonna put it in craft anyway it's pretty cheap this is a cute little dream catcher looks like somebody made this one it has kind of a neon chain to it and as it stands now, it is 16 inches. And the pendant on here is like so. This way. The feathers could probably need, use some help or change or just take them off put something different there they're just like on there like charms but that's cute I mean it's cute seed bead it, it may be artisan made three dollars See if all the rhinestones are there. I don't know if these are stone. These feel like plastic. They don't feel cold, the, the beads, the green ones. But I don't see any stones missing. Put it in the comments if you see something missing. Move these guys. seven inches all right three dollars a lot of three dollar items I don't go any lower because you figure three dollars for the piece and then you have to pay four dollars for shipping kind of hoping that you folks would be buying more than one item <laughs> just to make the shipping worthwhile because everybody likes a good deal Kind of cool. It has like this zigzag in the plastic. There's no maker's mark. You can see the back there. I'm about an eight inch. I would say eight and a half inch on that pretty girl. Look at that. This looks like it's just glue from them putting in the pieces. Yep, let's do this bracelet. I love this bracelet. I love the way they use the beads to make petals and they made them green petals. The stretch is pretty good on this. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. 
So these are all prong set rhinestones in the center. Really cute, $3. Here's a $3 coconut and wood bead necklace. Kind of tribal-ish. And the measurement on this guy, it's pretty light, lightweight. That's about 12 inches. And this is gonna be, the, the this part's gonna be over five inches. So, and these are coconut. And these are wood. These are coconut discs, and then these are little wood beads. So, pretty cool. Here's some $3 earrings. happen to have been called a green lot <laughs> on Shop Goodwill. Well, I can't get these out. I am determined. Anyway, if you see anything you like, do a screenshot or a timestamp. Email me, jandapanda at comcast.net. It's got one long post on it. Is that one? No. Okay. Uh, I haven't looked through it yet. Yeah. Just, um, there's probably, uh, did you see mm. that brace, that necklace mm, right there? Okay. So this one, it's about an inch by an inch. It has like this iridescence to it. It could be, and there's a cross in the center. It could be that, um, there's Mother of Pearl back there. I do not know. Or if it's some sort of colored foil. I don't know this maker. If there is one. Anyway. Cute little crosses and diamonds. And why? Oh, it swivels. That's cool. Or no, or it's, no, it's just plain broken. Okay, these are going into craft. <laughs> that took care of that business. I thought they swiveled. <laughs> but they don't. They just break. All right, here's some really cute dangles. The ones that I thought were mushrooms. <laughs> but they're not. They're just dangles on the front. And there's your sizes. Okay, and then here are some. These are really pretty. Little hook on earrings. Three dollars. There you go. I'm cooking today, and I'm cooking a corned beef brisket. I know it's not St. Patrick's Day, but we like brisket anytime. All right, so that's it for the green lot. Now, this one is from the boho lot right here. This one would be $3. I just held it out for testing. I don't know. These were kind of tarnished, so I thought, hmm, better make a, a test out of it. And these are obviously dyed stone or they could be pinched together clay for all I know or they could even be old bubble gum found on the street so this one's about 11 inches on the drop it's really pretty it does look like sterling but it's definitely not sterling three dollars all right now I have got this bag I've got my brother here to help me if he if I see anything that needs testing, we'll get it tested right away because he's all, he's all gloved up. Um, oh, test these. Please. Oh, wow. Look at this one. This is really cool. Okay, it's a 
tied in a knot back there, but these aren't going it. Well, they can, they can be moved. This is really cool. I don't know what that material is. It's got a little heft to it. Yeah, I probably, on this one I would do four. So screenshot timestamp. This needs to be turned around. There we go. Let's see if we've got other fun stuff. I have my gem tester on, so we can at least see if these are real stone. These feel cold, so I assume they are. Quality-wise, I have no clue. These look like tiger eye chip beads. And I don't know what this stuff is. Well, let's let's see if at least they register as stone. No. No idea. Let's see what these register as. Hmm, got quartz. Whatever that means. Do a measure on it. Zoe, about 14 and a half inches. So there's that one. That's pretty nice though. This is kind of throwing me that looks like it could possibly be, that big groan was my dog. Could possibly, uh, it's moving a little bit, but it's not going past glass, so. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. And so there you go. Uh, this one three dollars. It's got tiger's eye on it. But... All right. What is this? This is a nice piece. Looking pretty dirty though. This needs a bath. I might give this a sonic bath and present it at a later day. Because this is really yeah grimy i mean you can see where it just looks yuck on the chain so i'll wash that oh this is fun What's this it's made to look Antique does need some cleaning. So these are yeah. these are sterling. They're probably toast Is this sterling? No, no, no these no, aren't no. sterling. Okay. And this is not sterling. No. All right. Sometimes I'll look at those. Silvertown lots and just dream of, you know, getting some sterling out of those, but those lots go up so high and then you kind of wonder how much sterling there is in it. So, I don't play that game. All right, these are glass on a faux turquoise pendant. And it's about a eight and a half inch drop on this guy. So three dollars. This is um, what do they call this? This is gold stone. It's not gold and it's not stone. Barely gold stone. This would be three dollars. This is from the Boho lot. You can see some of the little gold in there. I use a cleaning. It's a cute little pair of earrings. They are not sterling, but they are adorable. There's probably stone in there, but it's probably not enough of a stone to do anything with. Uh, little crosses. There's your measurement. 
three dollars. Okay. There's a pretty necklace for three dollars. About a nine inch drop on this. It does need a bath. I'll probably throw it in the Sonic. It looks like it's got food in there or something. That's gonna go in the cleaning file pile. This feels really heavy. Is it supposed to be made to look like that? It has this hammered ball chain on it. Sterling? I don't think it's sterling. This doesn't have that sterling look to it. But there it is. About eight and a half. All right. Three dollars. Oh! I found myself a little elephant. I saw this guy in the lot and I go, I gotta have it just because of this elephant. So I, I love him. He's cute. So yes, he's going into my private collection. Oh, oh there's another elephant. Ooh, isn't he cute? Look at those stones in there. Oh. I like him. I like him a lot. If I can just untangle him from this West End Company. All right. Um. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Will I undo this? Well, maybe I'll have my brother to undo it for me. He's as patient as my dad was with all this stuff. Hand it over. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This one says... Bayer, San Francisco. So this one has a nine inch drop, could go longer. It's cute, $3. A lot of this stuff is like boho style. Oh, this is kind of neat. This is heavy, but it's not real. I mean, the stone could be halite. Is that how you say it, halite or halite? Um, that's dyed, but it's glued in there. I see turquoise. I want it to be prong set with a bazillion prongs on it. But that's really cute. Guy with his sombrero. And there's the size of the pendant. Oh, yay. Thank you. Twelve inches, three dollars. This is my cute little elephant guy. He's untangled now, so I got two elephants. That's why I bid on this lot because I wanted these guys. Looky, looky! Got my own circus going here. Needs a jack ha! My brother's trying to be funny. Okay, this is cool. Native American in a, a peel. Uh, let's get this arrow in there. Last company. I 
do five dollars on this one. It's in really good shape and it measures 13 inches. Oh, look at, I think I see a pair of earrings in here to go with this crazy looking bright necklace. So let's see. Wow. Okay, earrings. Pay attention. Yep, so here's a set. $6 for the set. Get sidetracked with all these pretties. Piles here. This is twenty eight dollars. It's new with tag. All these shells. Is it broken? No. Style in Macy's. Okay. Five dollars. It's a long piece with shells from Macy's. New with tag. It's definitely got these blister shells in there so that's nice and some crystals for stations all right <gasps> peacock ring oh she's cute um, an eagle this is pretty too no marks. These rings would be five dollars each. Look at this guy. Wow, I'm loading them up. Five dollars each on the rings. And can't find my mandrel. <laughs> get these off so I can get the peacock off. Alright, she's not she wants to stay there. find my mandrel. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's no mark. Miss Peacock. Is it 10? So she would be $5. This cluster, so pretty. Look at the prong sets on those guys. Those little guys right there. I don't see any missing. U.S. size 7. So it'll probably fit my ring finger. $5. Close up. This is an eagle. Looks like an American eagle. Doesn't look like it's really worn. This one sit it a little over nine. This one probably is a stone. It's testing in amethyst, and I don't know the quality of the amethyst. There is no indication that it is sterling. It's not magnetic. Uh, maybe I'll test it, but I'll do it. Follow up. Well, let me see. Let me do a scratch. I can at least tell with a scratch. Um, 
It might be. You know, I have to go for it. Yeah, it might be sterling. Um, I'll have to do further testing on that and I will do a follow up. It's a cute brooch. It does have a stone in the center. Amazon is telling me that I have a package out for delivery. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. It's sitting in the basket over there. It's, um, no. But this one would be $5. It looks kind of old with that kind of a clasp. It sticks out pretty far. And it's bezel set, this stone. It's barely registering as anything. So there you go. It could be like a, an old souvenir piece. Here's a pendant. Do three dollars on this pendant if you're interested. Show the measurement on that. Here's the brooch, Native American brooch, and then this faux turquoise pendant. Here's a pretty piece. This is, looks like glass. It's kind of grimy. Grimy. I have to do further testing on this. I did a scratch on it, and it um, it might be sterling. Here's all the stones and the acid that has to kind of sit there for a while and scratch in several places and blah 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 blah. Um. This one's weird. Those might be little stone beads. Yeah. I don't know what kind of stone. They're not glass. This one has a tag on it. Let's see. <laughs> It's testing for stainless steel. Do we have acid for that? This says Laura Ashley. Hmm. Laura Ashley. I think I'll look that up. Look like stone to me. It's not okay. No, piece is glass. Who is Laura Ashley? Let's find out. Laura Ashley. Oh, or Ashley. I remember that from the sheets. Spell it correctly. Or Ashley family fashion jewelry.
Yeah, I'll do five dollars on good old Laura Ashley. There you go. Can I do a measurement? Sitting on the shortest measurement, which is eight inches. And you've got all this play. Here is caged rhinestones, bugle beads on metal. This would be three dollars. And it's mm, about 13 inches. 13. Very lightweight. Three dollars. Oh, this has got some stone in it. Multi layers. Sounds like my dog wants either out or in. Not quite sure. I think she wants out. She just went out. Oh, she wants to go back out. Or maybe she wants to come in. I don't know. All right. Some more stone pieces. Nope. Okay, so this one is not sterling. That did register as amethyst, but again, I don't know what quality. Um, and it's like six and three quarters, five dollars. Okay, what does this read? This quartz. Quartz and this glass druzy. I'm crazy. Crazy, I tell you, she's crazy. This actually looks like it's a resin and a mold. Probably about 10 or 11 inches to here. And there is an extender. So if you're interested in any of these items, email jampanda at comcast.net. Shipping starts at four dollars and um, we get PayPal information as soon as I get paid then the item ships out within 24 hours all right not including Sundays of course oh, this is cute Let's see what this says look at those beads Looks like somebody just took a bunch of leftover beads and made something out of it. That is really cool. It looks like an old Indian head penny that they fa fashioned into a button. Yeah, it looks like it's, it was a button, probably used as a button, and then that button is now being recycled into um, a bracelet. So you want to see it? Joe wants to see it. Here is a unbranded, most likely not sterling bracelet. I'd do three dollars on that. It's probably dyed halite. It's glued in there. It's yeah, eighteen eighty eight. Oh, it's an eighteen eighty eight penny that was turned into a button, and then after it was a button, it became a bracelet. Cool. Got it down. Okay, this has. What is this? This Lucky Brand? Yep, Lucky Brand, new with tag. That's pretty. Somebody wants a look. Okay, this one's registering in. It's registering in garnet and amethyst. I mean, it's, a, it's hard to tell what line that's going through, but that's a real stone. I do Lucky for 10. New with tag and charm. And look, it says lucky. Lucky, lucky. $10. It's a pretty piece. And I could, probably couldn't do an exact measure for you. Does it have a size on it? Semi-precious accents. 
Hmm. Must mean that semi-precious stone. I'm guessing it's a seven. It's a hard seven. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, I do this one for 10. Got the prongs on that one. It's not going anywhere. Got that. They probably glued it too. This is weird, but in a cool way. Cool weird. I mean, it's got these leopard see-through bezel set pieces on this stretchy with all these loose well, no, they're they're linked together. I wonder if you snip this apart, if it would become a necklace. That would be funny. So, yeah, three dollars on this pupper goes on easily because they are all linked together. Cha cha. It's a little on the big side. There's room. Pretty shell pendant. This one's a little bit over three inches by three and a half. That's pretty. We'll do five on the shell. It's all ready to go. Just all it needs is your beautiful chain. Remember, email, timestamp, screenshot. $4 shipping starting. Okay, this is one of those slave bracelets. Let's see if I can put it on. It's all stretchy with a stretchy ring. They're kind of cool looking. This will probably fit better if it went on all the way, but anyway, so. I do three dollars on this guy. Slave bracelet. This is gorgeous. This is not precious metal. I don't think it, no, it's, it feels like a plastic. Yeah, it's not even moving. It does need some adjusting. This would be three dollars. It's cute. All right, what else have I got here? Oh, just got the last little necklace or bracelet. Is it this? Oh, you already, I thought you got this one already. Oh, I was showing it, but he oh, wanted okay. to see it. So this one, it's pretty cool. It's got that Indian head penny. It's a Native American penny. We always referred to them as, ki as kids, as a but yeah, Indian head. But, um... It says 1998. I'm sure it's real copper. Made into a button and then made into a uh, bracelet. But you can see all the interesting beads. Cool. Five dollars. Now he wants to play with it some more. All right. So that's it for this video. And um, I'll replace some of these. This is going into craft because I broke it on video. There's that. $5 rings. Slave bracelet. There's a lot of stuff here. $10 lucky bracelet. Just a whole bunch of fun stuff. So thank you for watching. This is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. Have a good night.